The man charged with murdering a Wolfson High School student after an argument over loud music appeared in court and pleaded not guilty today. Michael Dunn's new attorney says he is not ruling out at this time using the stand your ground defense. That law justifies the use of deadly force if someone fears death or fears great bodily harm, regardless of where they are at the time. And as Heather Crawford reports for us tonight, changing that law and laws similar to it nationwide has become the mission of Jordan Davis's parents. We believe the time is absolutely ripe at this time, you know, to garner as much support as possible. Which is 15 days to go, Jordan Davis's mother is hoping to get about 20,000 more signatures on an online petition calling for stand your ground laws across the nation to be repealed. If the goal is reached by January 1st, White House staff will review the petition and issue an official response. The fight um, is not just for Jordan. It is for all the babies and all the individuals that just, just recently lost their lives. I mean, it's for everybody else that might lose their life, everyone else that might become victimized by these laws. If it was about Jordan, then we could just close up shop and go home because mm -hmm. nothing's going to bring our son back. But Jordan is telling us as parents, fight for the other parents out there that still have mm -hmm. their children. You know, if you still have a daughter, you still have a niece, you have a son, you have a nephew, we're fighting for you and you have to help us fight for you. The attorney for Michael Dunn, the man charged with Davis's murder, says his client acted in self-defense. It's going to come down to character and credibility and our position is that Michael Dunn has character, he has credibility, he's a law-abiding citizen. He has never been involved in an action like this in his life. He's never had to draw his weapon. He's never had to fire his weapon. Nobody in, in a position of Michael Dunn has ever been put in a position like he was that night. But Davis's parents call their son's death senseless and say why they are grateful for the prayers and the support that they've received, what they want now is peaceful action that they hope will lead to a change in legislation. We're here for the long haul, and we have determined that for the rest of our lives, this is what we do, Jordan's Walk. This is what we do. Somehow, some way, we will make Jordan's life and his death, you know, something that was not done in vain, not just for him, but for every voice, for every victim that didn't get a chance to cry out. In Jacksonville, Heather Crawford, First Coast News. Well, just a giant on Capitol Hill, Senator Daniel.